very interesting Mobile High Squad. You guys have been waiting for this for so long, ever since we came out on the Easter. We're gonna finally do a Q&A based on questions that you guys sent, right? RJ, are you ready to answer truthfully? Yeah, we'll try our best to be honest. And open. We'll try our best. <laughs> we are going to be honest. He means open, okay guys? So here we go guys. This will be our Pride Month Q&A for you guys. All right, so the ones asking the questions will be Raquel and Nika. Nika. Yes, All, well, a lot of your questions have been selected from YouTube comments on the video where we came out. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Mikey Bustos. This is RJ Garcia. We are here in Manila, Philippines. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit subscribe to join the Mabuhay Squad. Yes, we'll be your daily dose of positive vibes. Let's get this Q&A mukbang started. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, we're doing this Q&A as mukbang too. Look at this delicious Italian food from Amare in Capitolio. Mm -hmm. Amare la cucina. We feel at home here with Amare la cucina. That's why we decided to do the Q&A. That's right, Q&A here. Okay, so I think we're ready. Get this started, RJ. Grab a piece of food and Pizza start eating. Mm. This is gonna be so hard. Look at this. Mmm, salad. Yes. Pizza. Pinoy boy pizza. That's what it's called. <laughs> okay, because I believe we're ready. Are you sure you're ready? We are ready. Okay, first question from Melinda Desus. When did you both know you had the attraction or the connection to each other? First night we met, right? Yes. Yeah. So is it love at first sight? For me it was. Yeah. How about you? I would say yes. It was love at first sight. We were in the elevator together. He gave me his card and then I said, hey, you, do you want to go for drinks? And then um, he's like, yeah, tomorrow night. And then I completely forgot. I was sleeping. All of a sudden I get this phone call. He's like, okay, are you ready? I'm like, oh yeah, we're, we have a date tonight. <laughs> so then we went on the date and the rest is history. Oh my god. Next. Next. Have you both dated other guys in the past? Yes. How many? How many? <laughs> uh, three. <laughs> yes. I know you? you don't sound so sure. How about you guys? How Same. Many? Yep. Two. Oh no. Three. <laughs> when did you know it was love? Belinda, you have so many questions. Yeah. Oh, Belinda. Yeah, still from Belinda. I knew it was love the morning after. <laughs> wow. Well, the next morning, RJ cooked breakfast for me on this like big tray, like lots of dishes for breakfast, like random stuff in like a nice plate, served it to me in bed, and then after eating it, he gave me a massage. <laughs> Oh, so, like talk about like slaying me. That was so, it. So we were neighbors, so like while, while he was sleeping, I, I went to my unit and cooked for him. And when did you know it was love? It was love. <laughs> It's okay, I won't be offended. I, 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 I won't say it was love right away. But you know what I mean? As time passes by, we, we like we hang out together, like we do things together, and then I enjoyed it, for sure enjoyed it, then you know. It was I, 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 yeah, yeah, it was gradual and I actually didn't know when the exact day that you know. Maybe you don't love me. <laughs> I like that RJ is very kind, very kind-hearted and generous. He always thinks of other people. He's selfless. With Mikey, um, <laughs> it takes you so long to answer these questions. No, I don't no, like no, 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 no. It's, it's very funny. Aside from his, uh, aside from, he's very funny. He he likes talking to people. He like you know, he's very you know, he's very amiable. <laughs> So it's just like very open to everyone. So. Okay. 
Next question. Next question. From Nino Patulo. Yeah. Who was the first one that got jealous? First one to get jealous. Maybe it was me. I don't know. Not maybe. It was RJ. I don't know. I don't remember. Before, RJ was the jealous type. Still kind of is, which is okay. It makes me feel good. No, because it's a celebrity. You know? It's true. When you're dating someone in the public eye, you have to be secure. But yeah, so that's the <laughs> Are we still jealous? Not so much. I think the, the way to battle jealousy is to be open and honest in a relationship. Like, like open conversation as to who your crushes are. Uh, you know what I mean? Check out people together. Like once you open discussion, jealousy kind of starts to fade away. And over time, when you learn to trust your partner, it goes away. Right? Okay, next question from Merlin Arthur. So who is the top and who is the bottom? Oh my god, there's a lot of people asking this question. Mom. Big question. Um, okay, wait. First off, guys, that's such an inappropriate question to ask anyone. I know. But they want to know the, most people don't really know about the life of LGBTQ A plus A1 AI plus so we appreciate that you guys have those questions but <laughs> in terms of who the top and bottom is no one it doesn't apply to us yeah it doesn't apply to us Use your imagination. Oh yes, I want to try these ribs. From Hayab, Hayab Shachi, Shachi. Okay, congratulations on coming out. Of course, you are new. My question is, from <laughs> were you out from when you lived in Canada? Was I out when I lived in Canada? Mm, living in Canada, I was kind of half out. So I had a lot of gay friends. I would go to the gay village and party. My closest friends knew I was like into guys. My parents didn't know, but my brother did know. I even moved out of Toronto where everybody like knew me and my whole family out into Montreal where nobody knew me and I kind of lived pretty much openly gay. So like it was my like gay training wheels. I call Montreal. So yeah, I was partially out already. But then when I moved to Philippines, kind of like I was taught to be phobic about showing that side of me because of show business. So, like there was this this underlying rule that if you were, you shouldn't reveal it to, you know, everyone because the Philippines is still very conservative. So I kept quiet about that. I didn't tell anybody. Even though I was kind of inside, pretty proud of who I was. We sure broke that mold. Okay, next question from Christine Correo. The kiss is my tape part of the vlog. So, so when is your anniversary? Anniversary. RJ, you better not take long to answer this. <laughs> it's, uh, it's December 21, 2011. So, it wrong. Went... It's 2012. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. So. <laughs> It was actually supposed to be the end of the world. Yes. This is why I know it. Because everyone was raving about it being the end of the world. Yeah. December 21st, 2012. So I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna go down with the rest of the world, it might as well be with this cute boy. <laughs> so that was the day we went on our date. So it was, yeah. it was the start of the world for us. Our love story. Yeah. Yes. It actually turned out to be the start of the world. That's a good one. You just saved yourself. <laughs> From Ruki Noble. Okay, it's nice to see you back, Mike and RJ. My questions are, number one, what are your terms of endearment to each other? Number two, who made the first move to make me go and how? Okay. I call him Be. He started calling me Be. B-E-H. What does that mean? And I just started calling him that too. Because in my mind, it's like babe. Yeah, that is a babe, right? Yeah. And then, what was the second move? What is the first move? Oh, first move. Well, he gave me his card. <laughs> and I was the one who asked him out. So you guys decide. Wait, I didn't know that he was like gay. My intention was to like, to just give him my card and him to like, check my website and if he's interested. You know, because it's a social media person, you know what I mean? And I have a business back there that involves charity. Okay, yeah, I was the one to make the first move because he was a 
the la the lagam Filipina. <laughs> I had to lead him by the hand. Oh my gosh, guys, this food is delicious. Okay, next question from Galactic Island. Oh. My question is, do you think of Ligaya as you and Kuya RJ's your child? Yes, we really do. <laughs> I'm always like, RJ, go go spend time with your child because I'm like the parent that's like trying to get RJ to spend more time with our child and RJ is like the parent who's trying to tell me to not be so protective and yeah. baby the bird so yeah totally our yeah, child because he spoils the yeah. guy so much from Arsol, how did RJ and you mighty family react? this is what happened from my side I we have a group on Facebook, <laughs> like my family, my parents, my siblings, except my dad. Like I think it was 11 p.m. I messaged everyone said, and I said, "What did you say? <laughs> you forgot everything. What you have saying? the worst memory. How are you the one managing my?" <laughs> I remember because I was beside him. Yeah, yeah. He said in Pangasinan, oh, yeah. Hi guys, I'm gay. I just want to tell you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gay. Yeah, I, yeah. And then I sat there, RJ is like freaking out. I'm like, don't worry. His mom took forever to answer back. Yeah, we saw the message. Yeah. So he's freaking out that she's freaking out. And then later on, she sends the message yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. It's okay, son. But yeah, he said, he said okay. in Pakistan, in our local language, that it's okay that you are. And your dad, his dad, okay, let me just explain this because I have better memory apparently than he does, which usually isn't the case. He heard from his sisters that his dad said it's okay and that he already knew because he knew RJ was st sleeping in the same condo as me. Living in the same condo. And that was it? And that was it. Okay, so from my side, of course. My dad, as you know, has retired in the Philippines for six months. He's back in Toronto now. So we went to um, Marina Bay Spa, which is our weekly hangout. And I decided I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm going to tell him. I tell him we're going to get drunk and I'm going to tell him. So we're sitting by the pool and I'm all nervous. And I'm like, Daddy, you ready for a beer? And he's like, No, I don't want to drink beer. I'm like, Oh no, I got to do this sober. So I just did it. Like, I didn't even think, I just like, it was like ripping off a band-aid. I'm like, Daddy, RJ and I are together. And then my dad was like, what do you mean you're together? And I'm like, oh my god, this is so awkward, cringe. I said we're together romantically. And then he said, you know, this is a mystery to me. This is a puzzle. He's holding his nose like this. This is a puzzle. Because I put you in karate and basketball and I'm so macho. And I'm like, I know that, you know, biology is such a weird thing. Some of the traits carry over. Some don't and they flip. I said, I don't know, like, good looks. I got your good looks. But for some reason, I don't know. I think I was born this way. And then he said, have you tried to like do with girls? I'm like, yeah, I've had many girlfriends in the past, but I don't know, I just fell in love with RJ. That was it. And then after that, he said, you know, you guys can do whatever you do in life. I'm okay with it. And that was it. And in the night when I dropped him off at the condo, we hugged. And that was the most awesome moment. That was March 25th. I will never forget it. Like, that was the closest I've ever been with my dad. In that very moment. So awesome. In terms of my mom, RJ told my mom. <laughs> he called her on the phone. Because, I don't know. I chickened out. My relationship with my mom is very different. But she is also okay with it. Totally happy. And she treats RJ like a son anyways. Oh yeah, another thing my dad said was, Michael, where did you get that? I don't know how you got that. I see it's like some virus that I picked up like on the street. I'm like, no daddy, I was born this way. So funny, right? The next question from Ben Okay. Did the meltdown which caused you to have a break have nothing to do with this coming out? This is our opportunity to be as honest as possible. Okay, so the meltdown was kind of tied to us coming out. Without going into details, like as you guys know, the meltdown was, that I had was about being overworked, being overstressed, and the pressure of having to meet, you know, deadlines and all of this. And RJ, of course, being the one to organize everything. So, of course, it spilled into the relationship. 
As you know, RJ went to Bali, had a breakdown of his own, shaved his head. <laughs> um, and I went to Baguio, thank you guys. So yeah, it was kind of part of it when we came back together. When RJ and I came back together to talk things over, figure out how we were gonna make everything work, including the business, including the relationship, all of this. One of the one of the kinks that we found in the machine was that we were also hiding our true self. So we felt like that was contributing to a lot of the problems we had. So yes, the answer is yes. The meltdown was part of us coming out. We're glad it happened and things are okay now. <laughs> It was going to happen eventually, maybe. Same person, how did you discover in college that you were bi? This goes to RJ too, when he was in high school. I discovered in college when I was doing ICQ. Remember that? I was doing a random ICQ chat with somebody. And then, I don't know, we were just talking and then and doing random things that young people do on ICQ. And all of a sudden, I felt my heart beating fast. Like it was, it was a little different from what I thought sexual attraction was to girls. Like this was something very physical, right? And not as mental and emotional. And so that's how I knew, if that makes any sense. It was the first time I realized I was attracted to men. Me, I don't remember the details actually. And I didn't, I'm not even sure if it was in high school or if, or if it was in elementary. You just knew yeah, that I'm, you know, I attracted with my guys, with my classmates, with like neighbors. I need to clarify. That wasn't the first time I knew I was bi. That was the first time I think my conscious, my consciousness acknowledged that I was bi. From Raven Aledo, are you planning to get married? <laughs> made of honor, made of honor. The big question. We have talked about it. We fantasized what our wedding would be like. Whether we've made it an official decision, not yet, right? Yeah. yeah. But we're just fantasizing, like the idea of like getting married, yeah. the venue, the stylist, you know. We're not sure yet. The visitors. <laughs> But what if one of you will propose? So yeah, the answer to that is maybe you guys will just have to see. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm already happy like just being with Mikey. Like in case we don't get married, just being with him. I support him, he supports me, you know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. Is that a no? <laughs> oh my god! Why did you have to why did you have to wait, add no, that? No, 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 I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, you get married or not? As long as you love each other. Yes. You know what I mean? That's a good point. Would you guys like to see that? Next question is from. I cannot read it because I think it's Arabic. Okay. <laughs> Are you planning to raise a child? Oh. If yes, daughter or son. Oh my goodness. Okay. RJ, you answer this. Try to be honest. Try. Well, I want to adopt. Okay. We have talked about it. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's like a girl or a boy. Yeah. We've talked about it a lot. In fact, we were also planning for one of the rooms in the future Mobile High School at home to be for a possible child. Or more, yeah, because I feel like, uh, especially, I mean, in the Philippines we see it, there are lots of kids who are who don't have parents, right? So, we would love to adopt, yeah. In terms of surrogacy, have we talked about that too? We've talked about that as well, like, I mean, other possibilities are getting one of my little soldiers, one of his little soldiers, <laughs> and then and then, you know, fertilizing two eggs and then putting it into one carrier and then the twins are brothers and they're biologically ours. That's one thing we could do, but we would love to adopt. Yeah, yeah. I feel like love makes a family, not necessarily DNA. From sociable life, now that you have come out, how will you deal with people who are homophobic and people who are overly religious that cause relationships with the same sex as Blasphemous? Blasphemous. Blasphemous. Uh, yeah, how have we been dealing with it? To be honest, we've so far, I don't know, based on our circumstances, we haven't had so much hate. I know there are some parts in the world where LGBTQ, AI+, get it bad. You know what I mean? They, they get bullied. 
they get even physically harmed. Lucky for us. Yeah, I we, think we got a, we got a lot of support more than yeah. the the hate. Yes, we haven't been in a situation yet where we've been physically in danger or people have thrown hate at us. Of course, there's comments on the internet, but that never mattered to us anyways. So yeah, I didn't read them. Yeah, and in, and. Most of these people don't know us personally because if they did, they would love us. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, how do we deal with it? We're just dead on it. That's it. Canner bills. <laughs> Last question. So, from the same person. Uh, any advice to all those hiding in the closet oh. and afraid to come out? Oh my gosh, this is a big one. RJ, I don't know if you're getting these private messages, but I'm getting a lot of them from people who are in the closet saying they wish they had the bravery and courage to come out. Some of you who are in the closet who are dating someone who's also in the closet, like couples that are in the closet, just like us, who are yeah. like us before. Yeah, every day I receive a lot of messages. You do, right? Yeah, Me from, too. From these people. And one guy was actually from my hometown. Oh! He's a lot of Oh, wow. And he was actually hiding from his family as well. Yeah, so we understand the struggle, first off. So let us get that out of the way. We understand, you guys. We're your best friends. We know what you're going through. So, well, my advice to you guys is there's no schedule, right? Take your time. RJ and I kind of, we knew we wanted to come out. We just didn't know when. We were also very, very scared. But kind of, the universe kind of works in a funny way in that it set up the stage where we felt like, okay, this is it. This is the perfect time to do it. And when you guys out there who are private messaging us, who are in the closet, get to that moment where you have the choice to say, yes, I am LGBTQ, or to deny it, that is your opportunity to come out and take the leap of faith. And sometimes your greatest joy lies just beyond your comfort zone. So just remember these words, the moment the universe gives that opportunity to you to come out. Whether it be a loved one asking if you're gay, or whether you have this intimate moment with a family member, like I did with my dad, um, where you could choose to come out. Like, wait for that one moment that the universe says, okay, my child, this is your moment to tell the truth and be your most authentic self. And RJ, do you regret, regret coming out? No. Neither do I. I regret that I'm out, <laughs> come out early. Me too! Out in my 20s. Yeah, because oh I was always scared. I thought my, my parents would get mad, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But they actually embraced, you know, the idea of me being gay. Yeah. They, they totally support me. Yes. You guys might be surprised by your family members and friends. We're not done, apparently. One more, <laughs> okay. Okay. One more interesting question. For sure, all of the boys' fans is asking this. Who is this? Did Ati Elsin you? Did Ate Elsie know? Ate Elsie is our um, house housekeeper, helper. house helper. Yeah. Um, like she, maybe after a year when we started dating. But right? after a year of us dating, she started um, working with us. Yeah. And she comes into my place every single day. She sees RJ and I leaving my bedroom in the morning. She, she gathers all of our laundry. She knows all of our secrets. I personally feel like she knew, she just never asked. Because she's professional that way. Ate Elsie, we love you so much. I felt like she knew. You felt like she didn't know? Yeah. Really? <laughs> just like you felt my boy squad didn't know all this time? Okay, now we know which one of us is clueless. Just kidding, guys. Okay, thank you, RJ, for being honest, as honest as you could be. Thank you so much, Nika. Yes, and thank you so much, Raquel, for asking all the questions. Look at and, uh, and love the shirt. Happy Pride Month! Bye, guys. Love you. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. Yes, a brand new day. There's RJ, mm -hmm. Ate Elsie. This is like white day today. And Jaya, we're all wearing white. What's going on? It's a special day. And actually, I know it's a special day. Why? Because we happen to get two big packages in the mail. Here's one from Amazon, which I don't remember what it is, but I know it's something awesome. 
for Ligaya. We'll be opening that soon. And we also received this, a Palakbayan box. For those of you who don't know, this is a care package from abroad, from out of the country. And we're about to open it and discover who sent it and what's inside. <laughs> 